Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another StarCraft 2 cast by myself, Osborne. I'll be bringing you this Terran versus Terran matchup on the Abyssal Caverns. Our players today in the red is FIPA. He is in the westmost area, the westmost spawn on the Abyssal Caverns. And his opponent, King Poo Poo. I'm going to cringe every time I say that name, so I'm going to just say King because it's terrible. And it's a kid's show. <laughs> Anyway, King, uh, wearing blue, on the eastmost spawn in the Abyssal Caverns. Terran versus Terran matchup, so we'll be able to see all of our fill of those SCVs mining those minerals, bringing it back to that command center. Oh yeah, that feels good. Drill those minerals. Kids show. You know it. Anyway, both players seem to be walling off on their perspective bases. Can't really blame them. Terran versus Terran is very, very crucial to hide any tech you might have in order to get that very slight edge. Because in these mirror matchups, those slight edges are what win the games. Maybe not so much here down in the lower levels like the Gold League or below. Or maybe even Platinum League, you can kind of get away with just outmassing your opponent if you have that macro ability. But once you get up into the Diamond and the Masters level play, those little tiny minuscule things that you wouldn't think of, like having two more uh, Vikings instead of having an extra Marauder or an extra three, four Marauders, that can make the difference between everything. And I don't know why people actually use Marauders in TBT. I personally don't like them. They just seem to be a bigger target for tanks. It's like with that kind of thought process where if you're running in the battle and the guy is throwing bombs at you, stay away from the tallest guy. That's just kind of seems how Marauders act in battle. They just, they suck all the ammo, all the tank fire right towards their face. In any case, we've got a denied scout from FIPA. King Poo has decided to dispatch the lone mercantile SEV to take care of that. I don't believe he got into FIPA's base at all, so no scouting. Well, let's actually find out because we can do this. Nope, he didn't get in. I don't think he actually sent a scout out yet. I believe that's what he's doing right now, and away he goes. In the well. That is actually strange, though, because FIPA went straight to cross position. That was a very, very lucky guess. And he, it just shows you the length of this map. He sent out a scout. First place he looked, and it was already walled off. So that's that'll tell you just how good... Um, macro games are in this game because those cheeses that require so long to get there will be ineffective. Two barracks up. We've got a two barracks, no gas expansion. So kind of a advanced style build for the gold league. Let's hope he can get it off pretty soon because it seems like FIPA is trying to get well I don't know what he's trying to get actually. He's only got one person on the refinery, so it might as well be a gas expand with, like, some marauders. Like, a marauder kind of expand. But there's no tech labs. Now here comes a tech lab. But he's going to have to get that uh, refinery saturated. There we go. Now he's got three on there. Two refineries coming up for King Poo, Poo now that he has his expansion almost ready. King Poo, Poo is going to have a very, very distinguished economic lead after this little push is done that is coming across the middle of the map. Just about seven, eight marines. Not going to do too much, just going to put a little pressure, trying to expand behind it. FIPA has more than enough marines to defend. Actually, he doesn't have that many marines. He's got Both players have a lot of minerals stored up, and FIPA is actually supply blocked. So this is the kind of thing that sometimes happens in the lower leagues. you just kind of been like, oh, man. And it's terrible. But I believe he's recovered nicely. He's got two more up. He's not building another one, though, which is another slight mistake you don't want to make. Sacrificial Marine coming in, dying, as you might expect. And you can see FIPA trying to position himself in a way that he'll be able to get the advantage over these Marines... Sometimes you want to put him like right here, 
I don't know if you can see this, but right like to the northeast of where these barracks are getting built. Holy crap, that's a lot of barracks. Six barracks coming up. Another sacrificial marine going to die. Ouch. In any case, orbital command up and running in the natural of king. We've got an engineering bay and a factory coming up. So he's going to go the tech route with three barracks, naked barracks, no add-ons whatsoever. Going to go straight, save that um, gas for the tanks and perhaps even some kind of banshee or perhaps even some uh, medevacs. This little attack going to be thwarted by FIPA because there's just not quite enough marines and the marines were attacking this supply depot which is not something you want to be doing while you're getting shot at. But uh, go figure, that's it's not a good thing. That supply depot won't even go down, it will be repaired by that SCV with the beer keg in his hand. Gonna try and get that back as soon as possible. Because gas is very important in this game. The more gas you have, the more tech you have, the better your weapons will be. And that's just what you need in these mirror matchups. Three more barracks coming down for King as well, so that's gonna be five barracks for him with a uh, factory making tanks. Siege tech coming up. I believe that King has the worker supply, very significant. He hasn't made refineries at his natural though, which is a somewhat of a strange move. You'd think if he was going for tech, he'd want to get as much Vespian as he can. FIPA once again being supply blocked, making two and making two more supply depots at a time, but he needs to continuously make them in order to stop himself from getting supply blocked. Once you get to the kind of production he's trying to get to, which is like six barracks, that's a lot. You need to be able to pump out those supply depots in order to stop from being supply blocked, which he hasn't done, which is probably going to cost him later in the game. As you can see, he has the army advantage. So, barring any scouting from King, which neither, neither player seems to be scouting at all, honestly which is very strange. If King can put, you know, just like an SCV here, they get the timing down. If he makes just like a couple tanks, puts them here where he needs to be, he can easily defend against this purely bio force. And this is going to be a very, very big change in power. It's going to be King with his tanks being able to completely smash the bio of FIPA because I don't know if you've ever seen Marines and Marauders run into a tank line, it's not pretty. At least not if you're the person who's running into the tank line. You might survive the tanks, but you will get cleaned up fairly quickly. Plus one, not armor, plus one weapons coming up for King Poo Poo. Eh, can't believe I said that. <laughs> anyway, Stim and, arm and Combat Shield, not armor, Combat Shield. I don't know why I want to say armor. Armor is just such a good upgrade. But Combat Shield and Stim coming up for King, and that will very much help him. Very high energy on these Orbital Commands, and you don't want that. You want to be using him for mules. You want to be using him for scans like that. Let's see the scan right on that uh, <laughs> right on that Siege Tank. So I believe that was from FIPA. I can't imagine why it would be from anyone else. Maybe looking for cloaked nothing. I don't know. It must be from him. But he is going straight out all crazy with these marauders now marauders are good at soaking up some siege damage but they are not good against more than a couple maybe like three or four once you get more than that it's just it, there's too much damage there's too much splash damage not to mention that king's bio also has medevacs to support them so that's going to be a very, very key element in this battle, I think, is these tanks and these medevacs. The tech of King will save him, if anything will, because FIPA is massing quite an army. He's going to get supply blocked again, which is just, I don't, I don't understand why you would get supply blocked so many times. King is also about to get supply blocked, I believe. No, he actually doesn't. He gets a very, very well-timed supply depot and you can see he's making them continuously up in that production tab actually he's not making one right now god this these guys are just they're not doing what they need to do to seamlessly transition and execute what they need to do still a good game so far the 
actual supplies are fairly equal, but most of King's, I believe, is in workers, 42 workers to 35. That is going to give him quite the advantage. You can't see it quite right now because I believe there are some mules at work. Yep, there's a mule. So one mule versus no, that's why you need to call down those mules. That's why you get the orbital commands, is for those mules. Two bunkers up for FIPA, minus the one, not minus, but in addition to the one for King, we've got Scouting Viking coming back, seeing what he can see. Let's see what he scouted. He only scouted this, so he knows that there's this, but he are, no, actually, I don't think he did scout that, because that's from when he was actually just fighting. That's complete lack of scouting on both parties. That's it's not what you want to happen. You want as much scouting information as you can possibly get to try and get that edge. Three more, t two more tanks coming down and sieging up right at the begin at the entrance to his natural, which is fairly easily to def easy to defend. A very very big choke and then a ramp. So it's very difficult to assault the bases in this map from the ground simply because there's this ledge here that they can easily overshadow you there's it takes so long to get around especially if you wall this off you have to go around the bunker or kill the bunker it's just it's a big deal but that's not going to stop FIPA from trying to go and smash the door and with these heavy marauder and marine play let's see what the there's no upgrades for FIPA actually Mobius reactor coming down for King Poopa but here's a big Big engagement, and they are going to get destroyed by these siege tanks. The big stim, but not all of the units were able to attack. It's able to take out that those siege tanks and the, and the bunker, but it's going to get cleaned up by this big, big mass of bio units. And that is going to be a big, big blow to FIPA. He lost his entire army to King Poo Poo and his siege tanks and his tech. And I'm not so sure that he wouldn't have won anyway, even without tanks, just because that King's Marines are upgraded. And that's a big, big deal. You, those upgrades will save him. He's got that armory up. He doesn't have any upgrades for any of his ships or any of his vehicles. And he stopped upgrading his Marines as well. And that's not what you want to do. Ghost Academy, another Ghost Academy coming up. Only one reason to have more than one Ghost Academy. And that is for nukes, my friend. So we are going to see some nuclear warfare. And everyone loves nukes. There's... I mean, come on, they're nukes. Everyone wants to see that. Another expansion coming up for King in a very strange spot. Deciding not to go for his third, but instead to fly all the way up to the other main base, the other spawn point. So that's going to be very strange. He queues up five SCVs, which is something you never, ever, ever want to do. But then again, I guess massing up 2,000 minerals is something you, it's also something you never want to do. So I guess that's what you have to do. There's no mules. There's no mules. Ugh. I am I'm crying. Crying Terran tears to watch these two people not being able to call down the mules. FIFA's not doing it either. What is this? He's got two mules doing the same non-patch of... Ugh. And then the mules die. Oh, uh, it brings... A, I shed a single tear for that. That's terrible. A single scouting marine making sure he doesn't take that gold base. That's not a bad idea. He, his scouting is negligible. Except, that, except for this one scouting marine. But better than nothing. Building a command center up on the actual net. Up in the third is natural third I suppose you would say it's just the easiest one to get from where he is there's the main base the natural and then the third you don't normally say a third natural but I do because that's just how I am I don't know what these two SCVs are doing they're just kind of like hey let us help oh wait we can't all right we're gonna leave then a little bit oversaturated and a lot of bit oversaturated over here he's got five workers that's actually not that bad but he doesn't use his mules and that's not good. Oh, here's some mules. Hey, finally. Finally some mules. He's not going to turn that into a planetary fortress, though, it seems. And as much as I love that he has mules now, 